It is 7.21 and I've been up for a little bit. Didn't get the best night's sleep. Baby woke up at like, I don't know, four-ish. And I was kind of tossing and turning from four till about five. And then got okay sleep from five to seven. Not exactly what I'd hoped for, but it is what it is. Hopefully adrenaline will uh, carry me through. My exam is scheduled for 11. They said that I could get there a little bit early and start a little bit early. So that's kind of my plan. But this morning I'll eat breakfast, help get the kids off to school, and then do a little bit of memorizing. So just some like normal values and some drugs and eruption times for teeth so that I have something I can reference and I don't make a stupid mistake on some easier questions. So, with that, we'll uh, see you closer to the exam. I was just walking to my car and realized that I did not have my lunch with me, which would have been bad because the longest break that we get is 30 minutes, which maybe would be just enough time to grab something but I'm not super familiar with the area around the testing center. So I would rather not risk it and just come grab my lunch. So I've got about an hour-ish until I'm gonna leave. So I'm gonna head to school and that'll put me a little bit closer to the testing center. Uh, it's about a half hour away. Just got to the school and I'm also going to apologize now because today will probably be a fairly rambly, not super well done video because my mind's a little preoccupied, but I wanted to at least attempt to bring you guys along, show you what it's like, give you some indication as to how difficult it is and just my overall experience taking boards. Feeling pretty good. When I woke up early this morning and couldn't really fall back asleep, I was really nervous. Nerves have come down since then, which is really nice. Most of the time I get really, really anxious before exams. So it's nice to kind of be at least a little calm. I'm going to basically just be copying all this information over and over again to try and get it to stick. So that if and when I need it today and tomorrow, that and just write it out real quick and I've got it to reference. to the testing center and uh, maybe look over this one more time in my car, but this is it. Uh, nerves have definitely crept in. It's starting to feel it. Ooh, little knots in my stomach. Not, not as bad as most of the time before exams and stuff, but nerves are definitely creeping in. Just parked at the testing center and on the drive up, man, did the anxiety just kick in. Even though I've made a video and everything I know about managing test anxiety and stress, every every test, it just sets in. You know, the butterflies in your stomach, the feeling of self-doubt, like I just am not gonna remember everything that I've studied. What if I didn't put in enough time? What if I studied the wrong things? Um, and to make things better and worse at the same time, the class above us had a 100% pass rate for boards. So on the one hand, it's like, okay, that's super nice because everybody passed it, but then it also makes me put pressure on myself and feel more stress worrying about whether or not I'm gonna be the one person who doesn't pass boards, so. Uh, if you deal with test anxiety, 
let me know. Let me know how you deal with it, what's worked for you, what doesn't work for you, because oh, it is brutal and I know that there are lots of people who have a really hard time with test anxiety. So if we can all help each other out and share those tips, that would be awesome. Um, I've gotta go pay for parking and then look over my notes real quick and I will see you guys after the first section or maybe two, so a couple hundred questions from now. I just ate lunch and I've got maybe 10 more minutes left in my long break. So I took my first break, which was 15 minutes after the first section, just finished up the second section, which puts me at 200 questions down. And so far it hasn't been too bad. There have definitely been some questions that no matter how long I would have studied for, I just wouldn't know. Some things that I know I've seen before, but I just can't quite recall. And then most of the questions though, you can narrow down to two answers. And then sometimes it's kind of tough to choose, but there are a lot of questions that there are three really, really obviously wrong answer choices and one very obvious answer choice. So it's been fairly straightforward, although the absolute worst thing taking any test happened to me. I sat down, started the test, and the very first question, no idea. That just absolutely rocks your confidence, but nerves are gone, settled in, feeling really good about how things are going. So I've got two more sections today and then two more sections tomorrow. I just finished up the second half of day one. There was one section that was 100 questions. The second section was 60 questions and those were case-based. And I will say the second half of today was more difficult. Felt like there was a lot more stuff that just couldn't quite recall or hadn't seen. Hopefully I still did well enough today and will do well enough tomorrow that I'll pass. Uh, I finished each of the sections in about 45 minutes and that was the same as with this morning, but this morning I took my breaks. I took extra time to go through more of the questions, but I didn't do that this afternoon. I felt a little more confident going into this afternoon than I was this morning which is why I didn't go back through more questions or take more time on these sections. Now I'm just kind of mentally thinking, what can I look over tonight so that I'm well prepared for tomorrow and can do well and get this thing done with and pass. I will let you know what I review tonight. Then tomorrow I'll bring you along and let you know if what I reviewed was beneficial or what I would have liked to review after I finish tomorrow's sections. Kiddos are asleep and got a little bit of time. Don't want to stay up too late because I am starting at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Got to be there by 7.30. Need to leave between 6.45 and 7 a.m. Today, I had quite a few ethics questions and so I'm just going to skim through the code of ethics real quick and that will pretty much be what I look over today in hopes to catch some of the fine details that are buried in there and I can get those questions tomorrow if they pop up. Finished going over some stuff. It's 9.45. I'm gonna go to bed so I can get up early and bring you guys along. It's 6.56 a.m. Had some breakfast, peanut butter toast, banana, delicious. And now, gonna make the drive up to the testing center for day two. Hopefully I don't hit traffic, but uh, we'll see. Just parked and again, gotta go pay. Just kind of annoying because when I 
took the DAT at a Prometric testing center. Didn't have to pay, but this one is at the University of Utah campus and gotta pay. Today is 140 questions. They are case-based questions, so typically anywhere from three to five or so questions are paired up to a specific patient case. And I'm just gotta answer those 140 questions and then I'm done. And then begins the ever so long wait of two to two and a half weeks of waiting for results because unlike the DAT, you do not get an unofficial score report. You just walk out and you gotta wait, which I'm not looking forward to. Taking a break and I was walking around and I just happened upon this bad boy massage chair so I came to check it out but no I would have loved to have sat in a massage chair taking a break from a 12-hour exam but oh well just finished up I don't know if I feel relieved or not I mean part of me very much so but now just the stress of <laughs> what if I don't pass Oh, the weight's gonna kill me. Let's see, what do they say in Ted Lasso? It's the hope that kills you. Oh, but I hope I passed. Uh, definitely studied hard. Lots of questions that uh, I would have liked to have been more confident about. Lots of questions that I felt confident about. All in all, pretty fair exam. Some things less so, but overall, definitely doable. Now we wait.